Hi everyone. As I'm packing up to move my shop, I keep finding cool stuff to show you, and this is one that I thought you would really like to see. Uh, a little bit of background, I got this at a wholesale tool store over in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. They used to have one of those, uh, now I think the only one is up in the Detroit area. And the coolest thing about their stores is they have these surplus tool bins. Uh, big giant tins or, or uh, Rubbermaid containers that have just all sorts of cutting tools or uh, tool holders for the lathe, something like that. And I found this bad boy in there. Um, at first I thought it was some kind of pneumatic 5C indexer. Uh, in fact, it actually takes a Brown & Sharp 21 collet, which is a type of screw machine collet. And I have one right here, obviously not a 5C. These are pretty neat though, because they're what are called dead length collets. Uh, if you've never heard that term, what it means is the end of the collet is always in the same spot. It doesn't move back like a 5C does as it gets drawn into the taper. Instead, the taper, in this case it's pneumatic, gets pushed up against this, and this little recess here is captured by this threaded collar. So, the, uh, the taper is actually pushed forward and it closes the collet but also maintains its length. And that's important in production work because you always want to make sure that your, your material is not moving. So the way this works, it can be uh, put in the horizontal position here where the, the part is horizontal or it can be bolted down to the table like this. And when air is supplied to it, this is always on. You push this down to release the collet. Let me go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you what I mean. All right. So here I've got some three quarter inch stock and now that's really lodged in there. Uh, this would obviously be a production work holding device. Um, I don't particularly have a certain use for it, but it's it's pretty cool. It is not an indexer, so when I press this, it only releases the collet. It does not index it around. Um, no big deal. Um, you can still see where this would be useful. Um, if you were making a ton of a certain uh, shape, you could have it in a repeatable location and a repeatable depth. One thing I'll say about these is they do not have threads on the backside, so collet stops are a little bit harder to, uh, to come up with, but you could easily come up with the type that would expand inside that, or even for something like this, you could just have a block of a known size uh, sitting on the table underneath the collet, so when you drop your part in, you automatically know where it is. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. If you have any questions or topics you'd like to see me cover in a future video, leave those down in the comments section below. Maybe hit that like and subscribe button while you're down there, and please consider supporting the channel over on Patreon like the wonderful people that you see on the screen right now. You might also want to check out these other videos. On the right hand side, I have a playlist of all of my quick machining tips. On the top left, I have my most recent video. And on the bottom left, there's a video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy just as much as this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.